Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this HMI tutorial, I will explain you how to work with recipes, how to make different recipes and how to configure them. So let's begin. So here we go. We are in the HMI panel. Let me show you this right here is my HMI comfort panel. I will go into the screens and here I need to create a new screen. For that, I will double click on add new screen, right? I will right click here and click on rename and give this name as recipe right and I can change the zoom setting from here right so this is my recipe screen I will configure this so I will go into my HMI tags right and in my HMI tags I have already created these tags in my previous video this is the word one tag I will drag it and drop it here right here on the screen and I will do the same for the word 2 tag right and then I will select the word 1 tag and give it the red color and then I will select the word 2 tag and give it a green color right okay and then I will go into the SMI tags again and here I will find recipes so double click on the recipes okay so I will be uh, creating here my recipe so I will select it and I will go with the default name recipe underscore one okay and then I will go into the properties uh, although I can change some of the properties like path I want to go with the SD card and in the synchronization I want to uncheck these settings okay and then I will go into the elements this one and I will create two elements so I will go with the default name recipe underscore element underscore one for the tags I will go with the same tag that I have given on the recipe screen the word underscore one and check this box from here and then I will create another recipe element right this one I will go with the default name and for the tag I will go with the word to that I have already given on the HMI panel screen for the recipe okay and then I will go on to the recipe screen again by double clicking here so this is my recipe screen and I will expand this window and in the toolbox and under the control setting I will drag the recipe view right and I can expand it like this I can adjust it on my screen this recipe view and after adjusting it I will do some settings I will go to the home page and I will drag this recipe screens button onto the home page like this right and after that I will go into the recipe screen I will select this recipe view I will select this recipe view window I will go into the properties and in the toolbar this one I want to add the save as button because I cannot see any save as button so as soon as I click this the save as button has been appeared right here okay now I'll select my panel and I will click on start simulation button and then I will go into the recipe this was my home screen so I will create a recipe from here right so for the recipe name this is recipe underscore one for data records I will give it a name recipe one click enter button okay so for the recipe element which is word 1 and word 2 I will give it some values 32 and for the word 2 I'm giving it 62 so these are not updated right as soon as I click on the download button it will get updated see okay so I can save this and as you can see the data record has been saved I can create another recipe so I will go into the data record and I will give it another name like recipe 2 or recipe 3 click enter button 
and this time I will give values here so I'm giving a value of 23 to word 1 tag and I'm giving the value of 08 to word 2 tag so these are not updated here so as soon as I click the upload button it will get uploaded so I will click on save as button this time and I will give any name I like and click on OK button and if I want to delete any recipe I can delete it from here right so that's how we work with the recipes and how we can configure the recipes